Hey guys, Miko here, and I got a pretty unique instrument to share with you folks today. This is a custom tenor size EJ Henderson tenor ukulele um, from Luthier Jane Henderson. And she's the daughter of a very famous um, other Luthier, Wayne Henderson, who is renowned in the guitar world for building custom guitars and where he got his inspiration from the pre-World War II era, the, the, the golden the golden age of, of Martin guitars. So essentially the, the daughter or Jane grew up, you know, with her dad in the shop, you know, always looking at what he's doing and getting inspired and just being, you know, grown up in that kind of or growing up in that kind of environment. Um, so that when she was old enough she went ahead and wanted to follow her father father <laughs> follow in her father's footsteps and also became a luthier herself and just like how her father was inspired from the martin guitars and she was inspired by her father as you can see from her instrument there's a lot of similar resemblances of the classic martin ukulele uh, look especially the older the older martins where you have like similar um, inlays on the fret markers um, the body shape looks very similar having the ivroid binding which is just like the classic look of the older martins um, here around the sides and back as well as the uh, side of the fretboards. Um, but what's really cool about this instrument is that it's almost like uh, a combination of traditional and new in terms of how this instrument um, is built because if you think about it there's really maybe in the guitar world with Martin guitars sure but with ukuleles Martin usually only used koa and mahogany their stained their famous stained mahogany you don't really have spruce uh, Martin ukuleles so this is kind of that play on having a sunburst spruce here on the on the top um, which is something you're not going to find on Martins but again this ukulele is like paying homage or looks very similar has the the inspirations from Martin ukulele so you have that spruce top with the sunburst um, along with Another piece of wood that you're not going to find on ukuleles of, with, with Martin ukuleles, which is wenge, which here on the sides and back. So really nice stuff, that nice woody color, and then paired really well with that that kind of off-white ivory color binding right here all around the ukulele. So it has that classic vintage look, but with some upgraded, more modern things, like, again, like the spruce and the sunburst here on the front. Um, the beautiful work, even Jane has her, her EJ, um, initials here in the mother of pearl um, and then you're having grover tuners here on the back gloss neck mahogany neck and then ebony a face face plate fretboard as well as the bridge itself and then you can see a nice apparent abalone all around the instrument as well as around the rosette again with that ivroid binding and around the rosette as well so really good stuff classic look to it even the sound itself it, it, it does a great job of capturing kind of that that older traditional warm kind of sound it does remind me of playing like an older martin so it's pretty pretty awesome that this instrument is able to capture that that kind of older martin on feel but with more of an updated kind of modern take on the sound so for me like when i strum this instrument it has a nice brightness and clarity which is what you you know would kind of find in today's kind of soundscape and, and customs. But it still has that nice, very mid-rangey kind of sound, which is what you're going to find in the older types of instruments, and set, especially like the Martins from the 40s, 50s, 60s. You're going to get that more traditional warm sound, or even that, like that Hawaiian kind of sound that you get with the koa in the older days. But I love how... On the bottom string especially you have very very bright kind of sound quality but then when you play like Hawaii music it just kind of it fits in that pocket where it just like it, it works it just chord comp. Nice clean sound. This, 
it just has that nice classic traditional sound, but I love how there's like a bite in the sound, especially like on that A string. So it really stands out. Very clean on the upper frets. Again, still has that nice warm quality. Especially in the middle two strings. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive with a sound sample. Here we go. Nice little fun instrument to play, especially with the, like that older Hawaiian um, kind of soundscape that this instrument um, can be played around. So here's a little bit more strumming. I strummed a little bit in that little sound sample, but here's a little more strumming. 